Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jaleesa. Happy Sunday. Um, I talked about my last video about the overwhelming week I had of being a full-time teacher. There's some pros and cons about things working a full-time teacher or just working in general. Not to rant about my struggles, but I just thought to just come up here at the last video and share a little bit about what I go through, learning how the center is running, and so on and so on. So today's video is about something my nef my nephew told me a week ago and total confidence, you know? He's my godson, he's my nephew, he's my best friend, so on and so forth, my little buddy, my little shadow. He told me in total confidence, you know, like you're just going through your routine, you're just not, you just, but he just, as a child, he said, Auntie, do you know what a bully is? I said, yes. He said, yeah, I have a bully at school. I'm thinking that he's talking about another friend. He said, no, this kid, I'm going to call him Butterfinger. Butterfinger just threw my clothes down. He just keeps hitting me. I just, he looked at me and he, I had that look. I had to compose myself because I didn't want to frighten him. He said, I'm not mad at you, Rose. You had just loud in the talk. I said to him, we're in the bathroom and doing our morning routine, blah, blah, blah. No, night routine. You know, so I'm going to tell your mother. He's like, you're not in trouble because I told him that no one is allowed to put their hands on you. You know, I think I, I think he kind of slightly said it months ago, a, a couple months before the school year started. I told him, you don't put no hands on no one. You, you know, you know, you know how kids they get a little rough. You, you know, his grandma's like, oh, if someone hits you. You got to hit him back. I said, you don't tell a teacher type of thing because Rogan's type of guy. He's a mediator. But this time he said to me. My sister said, yes, on Friday, he, my sister said the child punched him in the face. I said, no. He I, he said to Auntie, I know that you said that. I, he said, I had to hit him back. I know that you told me to keep my hands to myself. Get off my bed, kitty. He's like clawing my bed. But, yeah, it's just, it hurts. It hurts because it's like, that's my baby. My sister, that's her baby. Number one, she birthed him. She carried him for eight months. You know, he was a preemie. And then, um, but that's her baby. But it's like, I put the bear rating too. And that's my baby too. And it's, it hurts because it's like, I don't want his confidence to go down. I don't want him to fear going to school. One thing about Ro, he just took the anxiety out of me. He said, Auntie, even though he hurts me, he said, number one, I still want to be his friend. Because he doesn't have friends. There's a reason why we gotta back up. Why is he bullying and targeting um, other people? My sister said that the school said there's a lot of things going at home. So I'm gonna pray for this child because one thing about there's a lot of suicides going on. The kids are going through depression. Kids are afraid to go, and the school system does not help. But this, my, I'm very grateful because not all schools are like this they're getting they suspend the child i'm going to pray for little butterfinger that he's going to be all right keep his hands off and also i said to my sister is he only targeting rogue i said no excuse me he's targeting a lot of children i said okay which i'm not saying that's a bad thing but at least that we know that is not rogue is not the only target because rogue is the type of person he said my teacher he, he said he went over and fought he, he broke up two girls fighting. I'm going to be just like my teacher. I said, Rogue, leave it to the teachers. Because Rogue is type for, I'm going to break up all the fights. He's only seven, y'all. He's only to my chest. He's the type of kid where he will jump in. He if he, Rogue is the type of kid that will take the shirt off his back. Rogue is the type of kid that he will give his last slice of peanut butter sandwich to someone. You know, he's the type of kid that teach you life lessons. If you're having a bad day, he will just put a sprinkle on your ice cream. Like, you know, he's a spread of your day. And it's like, I don't give this little boy enough credit. Hi, kitty. I don't give enough credit to him that, um... He is very special to everybody, and it's just like, if your child's going through, know the signs of your child, know their behavior, know that they're just not wanting to go in the building, check in, ask the highs and the low of their days, how was, what was the high, the biggest progress of your day and the lowest part of your day, hey kitty, you know? And it's just communication, that's the best way I can give advice to people, because as you know, it's, it's I've been bullied, you know? It wasn't fun. I was tiny. I was a size zero. This girl was a big girl. I remember my ow, ow, no, ow. 
he's letting me know I gotta feed him. Yeah, I'm gonna finish the storyline that I gotta feed my cat. But no, that hurt, kitty. He's looking like, what do I do? I'm just letting you know I'm hungry. You're talking too much. Anyway. So I was in fifth grade, first year. It was winter time. I wore a skirt. I don't know why I decided to wear a mini skirt. I, I had my knee high kitty socks on. It was pink. I got from my kid, my cousin from New York, and I had my New Balances, and I had my skirt, and I had a coat. My mother said to me, she looked at me, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yes." She was the first time my mother allowed me to wear mini skirts. Like I was twelve, you know, it was cute, and. I wore it in the same day my other friend wore her uh, mini skirt we were, we were knee high we were like twinning that day it was so cute Naya oh she was watching this Naya Macklin Kendall you know who Naya is and so um and then I walked home this girl was like she was calling me the S word look at her looking all with the legs look at her well she had no pants on I said actually I said that I have a skirt on and then she's like, every day after that, she was targeting me. My mom was like, why don't you want to go to school? And she said, the girl said, you tell somebody I'm going to beat you up. I was scared. You know, I'm very quiet. And my, I have a big family of six kids. And so my other siblings went to the other school and I went to the other school up the street. So I was by myself. And I walked past my uh, grandmother's house and my cousins. I said to myself, should I tell my cousins they'll beat the girl up? And she's a big girl. We're skinny people. My, my family were really slim girls when we were younger. But, um... I don't know. What I'm saying is, y'all, know the signs of your child, know the behaviors of your child. I remember my mom saying I had enough. She gave me, my mother always gives us choices. What do you want to do? And if after a while you don't speak, she'll speak for you, you know? My mom's not the type of person. My mother's from Harlem, New York. She's from, um, I don't get that side of her. I'm just really quiet. That's just me. I'm, I'm not timid as much. I found my voice, but I'm not a fighter, y'all. But um, everybody has that persona of you it's like anybody it doesn't matter how old you are know the signs of your brothers your sister your cousin even adults can bully you even in the school system can bully you, and the workforce can bully you it's like it doesn't matter if you go from elementary to middle school high school you get bullied in the workforce and in my college i have been bullied and i have lots of stories about um my college years working in the work study and how this one person used her power over me and, I, and that's a different story but what i'm saying is how the story is about how my nephew, in total confidence, told me that he was bullied. You know, I always ask how rogue, how was your day? He said, Auntie, I already told you how my day was. That bully bothered me. But I really wanted to, like, get more, like, not more information. I really wanted him to have, like, I had fun at school. But he, all he's been talking about was this child. The one thing about rogue, it's like, if this sticks with him, he, that just is current, you know? So I... I make sure I give him extra attention, I give him extra snacks, give him extra hugs, extra snuggles when I can, you know, so he can feel like a special person. And um so guys like and subscribe. Happy um happy Sunday. I'm my PJs right now. I'm gonna get my cat some food. I'm gonna open the window, I'm gonna wash my sheets and get myself ready, get my lesson plans for the week. Thank you for listening to you guys. Peace, like and subscribe, aka Jelly out. I still didn't get my beads for my hair. I'm still looking for the next style. It still looks good. Keep it another for three more weeks. See how it goes. And I still have to do, uh, show you guys my curricular box, my writing curricular box. No, I already did that writing. I have to do my farmer box. So we're going on a field trip. My very first field trip is this week on Friday. And then we get back. We're not getting pizza. Oh, yeah. We're not having pizza Friday, but. Next week we have Pizza Friday. The kids are going to be like, I want pizza. Go to bed. Oh, yeah. See this? See this? My cat licks himself. And this is very embarrassing. The doctor said that this is a habit. And I don't know how to stop this. Anybody has a cat or any suggestion on how to get him? I tried the cone. He's embarrassed that he takes it off. So I just, whatever, if you, if you want to keep licking yourself and keep, it's not a bad infection. Yeah, kitty. I know. I'm sorry. So the vet said it's a habit and whatever is irritating. I don't know. I'm going to get, I'm going to just deep shampoo my rugs. I don't know. 
I'm tired of it. I get embarrassed when he's licking himself in my bed. I kick him off because it, it frustrates me because I'm tired of looking at my baby like that. So anyway, yeah, guys, I got to go. Hope you guys like my new phone camera. I like it. The lighting is pretty good because I have two, two lights in my room. So anyway, adios.